the item I want to show right now today, demo today right now is going to be our USB 2.0 UTP extender hub. The part number for this is R042 HUB C5E104. This unit comes as a set. It has a, as a transmitter and a receiver unit. The receiver unit is the hub that has the four USB ports that you can use. And the transmitter unit basically connects to the computer side. It comes, takes the input of the USB type B and outputs it to UTP. And from there, we run, oh, I'll be using a 100 meter UTP, UTP Cat5 cable. And from that goes to the actual hub unit, which is, takes a RJ45 input and lets you use four USB ports. This unit comes with a one foot HD USB cable. It's a type A to type B. And it also will require the installation of a driver, which we have included. For the devices I'll be showing today will be, I'll have, since it's a hub, I'll have four devices. I will use a flash drive, a USB scanner, a USB keyboard, which I have on the side right here, and I did vastly something new. This monitor right here is actually a touchscreen monitor. Now, firstly, before you actually and plug, plug anything in, you have to install the software, which I already have done. And you can see it from here. It's, it's this icon right here, the launch USB 2.0 on desktop. If it's not on there, it'll be in the start menu. And when you actually do click it, or if it starts automatically, it'll be at the taskbar side. I'll show you. It'll be on the taskbar down here. That's the actual icon, the taskbar icon. Now this icon, the looks of it, the looks will change depending on which state the USB extender is in. Right now, when nothing is plugged in, it actually has a blue with a red circle in it, on it. When you start plugging stuff in, then we'll change, and I'll tell you when I'll tell you accordingly when it does. So first things, then right now all that stuff is to plug in the device. So using it, the included one foot USB cable. Plug it, plug the Type A type side to the PC, and the Type B to that transmitter. When you plug it in, you notice the red light coming on, meaning it's being powered, it's drawing power from the computer to power this unit. And then you will start connecting the UTP cable. So I'll connect the 100 meter UTP cable to the RJ45 jack of the transmitter, and the RJ45 jack of the hub. And then lastly, the power. And when you do, the lights will come on. The green light mean the green LED here meaning power is going being is being powered. And then you also notice on the LEDs, on the RJ45, there's LEDs. There's two LEDs on each. It's a green LED and an orange LED. The green meaning this thing is the green meaning it's being powered and it's transferring power between each between the units, and the orange means it's being it's communicating between the receiver and the transmitter. And also to note, once you plug in at this step right at this step right now, the taskbar icon will change. You will notice it changed from a blue circle with a red circle in it to just a solid blue. This, meaning, this means it's ready to accept the USB device, any USB device. So, for the first thing, I'll go, I'll plug it in one by one, show you what it does, and then at the end, I'll do it over again. So, that means you first plug in the USB fast drive. I can plug it into any port I want, so let's take port three, and give it a minute to detect. Once it's detected, you see it installing the drivers and the and there you go. It starts. Actually, this is a video from the driver, but let me show you better 
from the actual computer. So I go to my computer. You see it right here. The removable disk. I open it. I can access any file I want in there. It's actually a video file right now. And it plays no problem. Let me close that. Now, next, let's say I want to plug in a keyboard. So I just take the keyboard. Plug it in to any port I want. I'll just pick port one for the heck of it. Let me open a Word document so I can show you the notepad document. I can show you. And then once it's finished installing, it detects it and everything, I start typing stuff. And see, typing is fine, no problem. And let me leave that open right now. Next, I will do, I will show you a scanner, plug in a scanner. Like before, plug in a scanner anywhere I want. And let me open, let me open, and once you get, get a minute to let it detect everything. Once it's detected, this particular scanner has a sound you can see here. Now, once it works, I can show you, I can scan something right now. Let's say I have a barcode, let's just scan it. And you notice it pops up. Right there. That's the scan, that's why it's a scan right now. Now, lastly, I would, I'm going to plug in the last unit that any other USB device I have right now, which is a touch screen. So, let me just plug this in. And once I do, it's, I get a minute to let it detect, as you see right here. Once it detects it, it sees it, is it being identified by the Windows operating system. And now it could actually be work. As you see now, it actually does work. I could maximize the software, minimize it, close it with the touch of a, just touching the monitor. Now, one thing to note is that once you have a, once you plug any USB device in there, the icon, pre previously it was blue, and now it actually turned green. The green signifies that a device is plugged in, Windows detected it, and it's utilizing the, that the devices we could be run or opened or used. Let me show you again, just real quick. Touch screen, no problem. Let me open a document and type something out. And also, scanning. Marco 10, and lastly, if I want, I can open, access the device. And play a video off the fast drive right here. Now this is our hub using four devices at the same time, going over 100 meters, 